everyone. If you remember last week's episode, you'll remember that the garden was completely underwater, looking a bit like this, and I had to leave the island for a few days. After four days of being away, the island was still underwater, but luckily, after my sixth day away, I was able to come home and the water level had gone down. Morning, everybody. I got home yesterday. As you can see, the river has gone down. Um, but I mean, look how fast it's flowing. It's, uh, yeah, pretty wild out there. I am back in my normal routine of morning walk in Hearth Park across the river. It was quite nice this morning waking up in my own bed and uh, just doing mundane jobs, taking the bins over and taking Lemon for a walk before I go home and start work. Um, I've been really lucky obviously because of having um, family to stay with and everyone's been so generous over the last few days helping me out and things uh, but there's definitely no place like home and um, now the cleanup job begins there's quite a lot of work to do in the garden and obviously I've lost a week of work on the house so lots to do here is another casualty of the storm last week massive tree look at these roots <sighs> it's very sad i guess the council will need to come and get rid of it all so the first and most important part of garden cleanup is cleaning all that silt off of the path and then seeing if i can kind of clean some of it off of the gravel as well the reason it's so important that it stays off the path is that um, if I let it dry, it dries really hard like concrete and I'll never get it off and I'll end up scraping off all of the paint and everything. So I'm just gonna go with a normal hose for the moment and a brush. You can see that Bob gave it a small go the other day and managed to get a lot of it off. So let's try and do this part first. Okay, I just tried with a hose and the water pressure is way too weak, it didn't do anything. So I'm gonna go and borrow Laurie and Simon's pressure washer and hope that it doesn't pressure wash all the paint off as I try and get the mud off. Second time lucky. Before I wash this side, I thought I would just show you how much builds up. Um, you can obviously see my footprints, but there's just so much of it, so sludgy. And I just tried to have a go directly with the pressure washer on this and it's having a hard time. So I need to give it a good, I think, brush first. But if you look at this side compared to the side I've just cleaned, way. That is much better. And obviously the path is saved and looking good. Needs a bit of a scrub, but, and then I need to figure out what to do with all the gravel. Um, I think, I mean, I sort of diluted it a bit with the pressure washer up here. I think it's made a difference. I think I just need to pressure wash all the gravel basically. And then this is where my flower bed was which obviously the surround is gone so there's going to be some digging needed to uh, anchor the flower bed down properly and um, put some more fixings in so it doesn't float away again and then figure out uh, well that's a project for later in the spring build it up with dirt and things and then actually plant some stuff there and fix that pipe which I still haven't done yet really must get onto that and on top of the hot tub you can see Anakin's had a great time sitting on top of it um, it's 
not burst that's a good thing nothing's come and burst it but um i don't know whether the pump will work because it was submerged underwater for quite a while so um that's going to be a case that's the last thing i'm going to do i'm just going to leave it for now to kind of just dry out i'll detach everything and um and yeah just let it dry out and hopefully restart it at some point and hope it works back to power washing then job done that is looking so much better that side's done deck is done other side's done path is done better just work on this sludgy bit here i have to say pressure washers are an amazing thing i think it's on my list of things to buy myself because uh yeah tend to have a lot of use for them So after a first pass with the pressure washer, things are looking a heck of a lot better. It really, uh, really did well, shifting everything. Obviously I didn't quite do the steps, so I've kept the pressure washer and uh, I'll let things dry out. I might look at doing a bit of digging or something tomorrow, digging a bit of a trench, because all that's, you can't really see on the video, but all of that sloped down towards the path and um, just goes everywhere. Hello. Morning everybody, it is Saturday morning um, and I just got back to the island on Thursday and I've just been, well obviously I had work Thursday and Friday so there wasn't a lot happening around the house but um, there was, there is, or was, is a lot of garden clean up to do and obviously just general house jobs that I'm trying to get on and do. Um, the garden's looking pretty good um, as you saw I did a bit of cleanup yesterday but when I was away one of the things that I was worried about was needing to clean the path and clean everything before the silt dried and set and basically turned to concrete um, and I had recently just gotten rid of my hose because it was broken and leaking and so I ordered while I was away a new hose to be delivered and it was and I was excited and I went to go and clip it on yesterday and it didn't clip on um, the receptacle bit didn't fit the spigot bit technical terms those um and I was just you know one of those days when it just felt like nothing was easy so I ended up borrowing Laurie and Simon's hose because it fit and being able to do all the power washing and everything then um and I said to Bob that I was a bit annoyed that it didn't fit and I wasn't quite sure what connector bit I needed to buy to make it fit um, he said he wasn't sure. Anyways, he's rang me this morning to say he's had a think about it and he thinks he knows what the problem is and that he can fix it because he's Bob and he can fix everything. Um, so he's going to come around in a bit to have a look and fix that. But one of the things that I thought about was the reason the hose, the old hose got a bit knackered was because it didn't, it didn't really have anywhere to live. So as you can see behind me, this is my, I'm going to call it the utilities cupboard, utility shed. And that's where the, um, the uh, spigot and the tap I guess is for the hose but it's obviously quite close to all the electrical um, and so it really needs to be kind of kept in there tidily so that it doesn't get stepped on it doesn't leak over things and it doesn't impede accessing the washing machine um, but I remembered that ages ago I bought a whole bunch of hooks and things for organizing stuff in the shed and I still have some left over so I'm going to uh, install a little hook for it to sit nicely on and wrap around and then it's off the floor and it's just one less thing to worry about. So I'm going to do that now before Bob comes around. Boom! Very happy with that. It's out the way, it doesn't impede the door, the door when it opens, it's not going to get stepped on and hopefully Bob can figure out how to make it all attach properly kind of nice to start the day with an easy win. Let's hope the rest of the day goes as smoothly.
that out. That comes into the dirt. You might just put a little time for the grease on that. And that's yep. put on to there also on its own washer. Yep. We'll leave the tape in place, it won't do any harm. And it'll be all happy. It might be. Hopefully. There we go. All connected properly, it doesn't leak, it's hung up nicely, it's got brilliant water pressure, and it's tidy. Very, very satisfied. Bob for the win, as usual. Hello, I have um, brought you to one of my favorite things to do on the weekend, which is go to my local market. Um, I'm in the car because it's so cold. I've just been outside. It's, it's an outdoor market. Um, but I really wanted to tell you about it because I think it's brilliant. It is a local market that's run on Saturdays and Sundays from about 11.30 to 1. Um, and it's run by a charity called Surplus to Supper. And they are a charity that have an agreement with local supermarkets to, um, to take their uh, food that's about to go out of date and things that, that can't be sold and um, it's a big charity they do lots of things for like providing school meals and um, providing food to shelters and they've got a cafe that they run and they do catering for businesses and things but they also have this market which anyone can go to on the weekend and it's lovely because um, you never know what's going to be there there's always a really good selection of bread and baked goods and tons of like vegetables and fruits and things and then various other random bits that you just never know what's going to be there uh, and they also have lots of nice flowers um, but it's great because it's kind of a sort of pay by donation type thing although they do recommend um, about kind of eight pounds a bag and you can bring you basically you just bring your own bag um, some people show up with Ikea bags um, but you know you bring your own reusable bag and um, basically fill your bag and um, then yeah pay pay what you can pay what's in proportion to what you've taken um, and it's brilliant I love coming because you never know what's going to be there so um, it's it's great because I just you know whatever I pick up um, I can then go and try and make things with and it's a nice way of cooking which I kind of like to do but also it makes me feel really good because I'm just shocked at how much food waste there is and so it kind of makes me feel like I'm doing my part um, and also it's a bargain and you know I love a bargain so um, yeah I just want to tell you about it because I think it's really important and um, might be worth for you guys you know I don't know looking in your local area maybe there's someone doing something similar um, it's really good Here is the new artwork for the office space. So it's gonna go on that back wall. I have taken a really long time figuring out what artwork I want to hang. I have a really hard time choosing things that I like. I don't like a lot of artwork. Let, we'll get into that another time. But I absolutely love these prints and it definitely goes with the sort of floral nature theme kind of of the house. But these frames are absolutely awful. They were kind of cheap off Amazon, but they're definitely, they look a lot worse than even I expected them to look. They're really thick. I can't really do anything about that, but, but I also just don't like the color either. So I'm going to deframe one and I'm going to have a go. I've got some leftover spray paint. It's my little indoor garden. I'm gonna have a go at spray painting one of the frames. It's this kind of champagne-y color that I used on the uh, table. And I'm gonna try and do one and see if it looks any better. And if it does, then I'll do the other two. And if it looks even worse, maybe I'll just paint them, maybe the color of the cabinets, or I don't know, I have to do something with them because they're really ugly. This is how the spray painted frame looks. That is Lemon in the background whining because she wants to go for a walk in the pouring rain. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely not right still. I don't, it looks better than the other two, but I don't love it. It almost is like too blends in with the wallpaper. 
so I guess it does need to have some sort of contrast. Good evening. Um, I'm quite excited because I have received a wallpaper sample that I ordered and I really love it. So the story behind this, as you guys already know, is that obviously as you can see behind me, I yeah, I can't figure out which way to turn. There we go. Um, when we put the dog door in, obviously I had to take all the wallpaper off of that little bit of wall. Tried to order matching wallpaper, but couldn't. Got something very similar, but clearly as you can see behind my head, it's not the same and looks a bit stupid. It's been fine because it's been better than, you know, non-wallpapered wall, but I need to figure out what I was going to do with it. So I've come to the decision that I'm going to wallpaper this one wall, a completely different wallpaper, make it a bit of a feature wall, but it's taken me ages to figure out what wallpaper, and now I've got the artwork here, as you can see, still figuring out what I'm doing with the frame, but I've got the artwork, so how to like tie it all to go together. So as you can see behind me, I got the sample and I love it. So let me turn you around and show it to you. Forgive all the mess in the corner and everything, but this is the wallpaper sample that I ordered. I am pretty in love with it, to be honest. I think the navy blue on one wall will go really well with the sort of pink blush of the other wall. Also the ferns and the kind of, I think it's like Jacobean jungle motif, I think this is called with the tiger and everything, I think that goes quite well. What I also love is the big, bold flowers, and those flowers are all the kind of same colours as the artwork. I am continuing to work on the picture frame glow up project, because they were so ugly, the ones that I ordered. And after getting the wallpaper sample, which is behind me, um, I actually thought maybe a navy blue would work really well and tie everything together. So then I had a moment and ordered some navy blue spray paint. I'm going to deframe another painting, take it outside, give it a quick spray, and I'll show you the result and we'll see if it looks any better. This is attempt number three to glam up these picture frames as you can kind of see this is one coat of spray paint and it's a bit blotchy in certain areas it takes a lot of spray paint and it's quite shiny so I've now gone and got myself a tester pot of another navy blue color which is a bit more silk and um, I've got some teeny tiny rollers hold on where are they oh here we go uh, the world's teeniest, tiniest rollers. So I'm gonna have a go with rolling the paint onto this frame and see if the color turns out nice, see if the finish is nice and um, hopefully third time's a charm. So this is the end product and I couldn't be happier. They look absolutely amazing. Even though it's New Year's Eve and I decided to stay in because I've not been very well, um, I really did want to get on with some jobs. So I stripped the wallpaper off of this entire wall and I've cleaned it all. And it's very exciting because it means that tomorrow I'm going to hang the new wallpaper, which I'm really, really excited about.